this bus. People will accrue over time at a fairly steady rate, um, and the longer they have to wait in order to uh, in order to be serviced, the less happy they will be. Um, they get picked up by the bus as it moves around, and you can see that right now this bus only has three people on it because it's just picked people up from this uh, from the stop here. It'll run down here where there's another person waiting, and then you can watch as the uh, the fares are received as well. So. Uh, let's check out how our second line is doing. Our second line over here is looking fairly quiet, not a problem. You can actually go to your uh, depot um, and you can see uh, when you manage your vehicles, you can actually scroll between the uh, between the different lines to see what kind of uh, service they're seeing. You can see that uh, line 3 hasn't had a chance to get established yet. Lines 1 and 2 are seeing a little bit of business but aren't yet generating any income. Not a problem. Let's see if we can set up a, uh, a different set of infrastructure for ourselves to see if we can uh, service some other needs. So you can see if we look at traffic, uh, we've got uh, Leipzig Strasse, which is lo uh, looking fairly busy. That becomes a real problem because traffic on these roads affects how our buses can move. And the more uh, traffic there is, the more buses you have to buy, which only compounds the problem. And then people tend to get fairly unhappy with you, they stop using your service. So. <coughs> I'm going to set up a tram line along here to service the uh, the high use roads. I'm going to put um, I'm going to put tram stops all the way up to here, say, in order to see if we can uh, reduce the traffic a little bit. Now we don't want people to uh, to be upset with uh, how long they have to wait along such a a, uh, a long route. So we're going to be putting the uh, really expensive, um, nice tram stops in. So I'm going to go to No Data View, and we're going to be setting up a tram line down here. Now it's important to note that it's actually really hard to work out where you already have your tram lines. If you forget where you've laid them, you have to zoom in or to visually follow them. You can uh, you can see on your uh, um, on your traffic that the line exists, but honestly, I found that very confusing, and there's probably a better way to do it. But uh, ultimately, I think it's just a um, something you have to deal with. So, I'm going to set up a, uh, a mass tram stop there. I'm going to set up a nice one over here in the same direction. Nice one here to service the uh, major railway station as well. And another one here at the end of the line. We're also going to do the same down here in the opposite direction. You have to remember to press right on the line, uh, which can make things a little bit uh, annoying at times. So then what we can do is just uh, see if we can close up our line and start to create our line. Add stops, go here to here. Now I have actually found setting up tram lines is really annoying in this game. It's probably something I just have to get used to because uh, I'm a whiny little girl, but uh, We'll see how we go. Now you can see I actually can't connect these two because the tram lines aren't, aren't themselves connected. So I'll see if I can uh, remedy that. That might be a bit of an issue because uh, I haven't played this game very much yet. Let's see if we can just roll them around here. Fantastic, it's looped at that end. Let's see if we can't loop it at this end as well. Now I already have it up here. I suppose I can roll it down here and then I can pull those this stop. Fantastic. So we'll go back to adding stops. Where were we up to? Up here. Uh, we want to connect... Ooh, what have we done? Okay, so we've got Torstrasse up here. We want to connect to here. What's it not doing? Ah, oh, I see. For some reason, it's not showing that part of the texture. That's, I suppose, not a big issue. Let's actually just go back and make sure it's doing it correctly. Fantastic. Looping back down here. All the way back down. And then we can close our loop. Manage vehicles. We're going to buy one reasonably attractive tram, I think. Set that up and activate that line.
So things to remember, I've just learned myself, you have to close the line and uh, you can't just close the line on the same thing, you actually have to loop it around, which is a little bit cumbersome and annoying, but not a big issue I suppose. Back down here you can see that people are actually getting pretty pissed off with me. You can see that on line 1 there are 30 million people waiting for me. Uh, up here on line 1 there are another 14. So what I'm going to do is go back to our bus line 1, which was this, and I'm going to buy a number of additional buses. Now the least ugly one I think was the Jubilee Turtle, so we're going to buy just one more of those. I can't buy any more. Ugh, that's annoying. I've set up a huge amount of infrastructure though, so what I can do is uh, take out a loan and hopefully it will start paying for itself pretty quickly. So I'm going to buy, oh, I'm going to take out a $10,000 loan. Now this one is going to be uh, 13500 to pay back with a monthly payment of 250 So hopefully that won't be a big issue. I can then buy a couple more buses for line one. Fantastic. And you can see that here, line one, bus one is extremely full. Bus two, sort of half full, about a third, and the other two will start to pick up the uh, the slack that the others leave behind. Let's check out line two. Line two doesn't appear to be terribly busy. We can actually uh, have a look at uh, how this one's doing. Bus two on line two appears to oh wow have 68 people waiting there. So we need to buy a couple more buses in order to uh, deal with that traffic issue. So you can see he's actually picking a number of extra people up there. Not a problem. It's 47 people here as well. Just that little loop has picked up a huge amount of traffic. So let's see if we can uh, just buy, let's say, a fourth vehicle and start to make out like a bandit right there. And what I've done up here is set up a tram station uh, without any anything connecting it to the bus lines. So how about I set up a set of bus lines as well? I'm going to go to bus lines, set these up. Now, I actually have a second kind of bus stop available as well, which is with a shelter. So how about I set up a bus line with a shelter here, and why not? We may as well have some uh, some good integration going. Another one here, and here, and here. Then we can uh, create a new line and start adding stops. So we have one here, to here, to here, to here. Back down, you can see it will actually create the best optimized route that it possibly can for the situation you've given it, which is actually really good. It seems to do a fairly good job of uh, working out what the fastest route will, well, what the shortest route will be. You can't necessarily find the fastest route just by doing that. You may have to play around with where you put the stops in order to uh, optimize it yourself to avoid traffic. So then I can set that one up as well. And we're starting to see a reasonably well integrated uh, transport system as well. What I would probably do then is uh, to start to move my tram line along in this direction as well, along Charlottenburg uh, shall say, and we can uh, start to move up here to the uh, agricultural areas in order to make sure workers can get where they want to, uh, up here to uh, the airport as well, and very quickly we're going to take a look at the other means of transport as well. You can set up metro which is much the same as the uh, tram lines but a little bit more fiddly, you have to think more about where you want to uh, put your stations in order to best service traffic that's available to them. Uh, and the water bus infrastructure. Now the water, water bus is actually kind of cool. Um, I think I haven't had a chance to play with this too much yet. So what you want to do is uh, set it up in such a way that it it borders uh, just a little bit onto uh, onto the ground. We're going to see if we can uh, set one up that uh, starts to integrate with um, what we already have set up. So I'm going to find here. That works pretty well. And then we'll set up a bus route as well to service that area. So we're going to have up here, and we're going to connect it uh, in this direction as well. We can actually rotate um, the way we want it to sit. So I'm going to have another one, I think, up here. And a last one down here somewhere. And I can make it work. Perfect. Okay. And then we can go to our water bus infrastructure and create a line. We'll add the stop here to this one here to this one here. And then we can 
double back like this. Now it's not very easy to create loops where it will go back via this middle spot. Instead I think you have to uh, create another stop on the other side. It doesn't seem to want to uh, reuse stops over the course of the route, but that might just be being terrible. We're going to buy a vehicle, uh, set that one up, perfect. Then we can activate that line and go. Okay, now we can connect those two up as well, um, because there's currently no bus servicing that. Um, we'll create a new bus stop. A nice cheap one over here. Perfect. We'll add that stop. Perfect. Manage vehicles, we'll just buy the cheapest bus we can. That's the one. Oh, we don't have enough money. You can see I'm bleeding money at the moment, but that's fine, because I'm just doing a quick playthrough. In fact, I'm a thousand bucks in debt, but you know, whatever. It's just how I roll, baby. And if I wanted to, I could also then create a helicopter infrastructure. You can leave helipads around the place as well to service the uh, high-income parts of town. That's actually pretty cool, I reckon. Alright, fantastic. That's a really quick let's play of the game. You can see I'm slowly starting to uh, build up a little bit more, more money again. Um, honestly, I think this game seems pretty cool. I'm going to give it some more playtime. Um, and for 20 bucks, you probably can't go terribly wrong. Alright, cheers, guys.